today's the day I'm flying to Canada. As you can see right now, we're already packed. We've got the luggage there, camera bag there. We've got the hand luggage that's downstairs currently. We're just waiting for the cab that's coming at six o'clock and then we're gonna head to Gap Airport and a new journey starts from there. Getting back to where I'm going is like an hour travel. I'm not traveling an hour, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd rather travel when I'm leaving, you see gang? Now nah, sorry, I ain't got the relevant tools to be traveling one hour to this destination to be honest. I got my work permit, so we're here until 2025. Yeah, it was an easy process. They didn't ask for certain things that I had, but it's, it's fine, easy to better. It was just an easy, smooth roll. I got my luggage, and then now it's just to figure out everything else. I'm currently waiting for a cab right now. Because I am not traveling public transport for an hour. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. I'm a brummy. <laughs> I'm from Birmingham. <laughs> what are you laughing at? All right, all right. <laughs> oh, very nice, my friend. Yeah, you know, I've been, I work in UK, yeah. Two and a half, wow. good, 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 stupid. <laughs> Mamma mia. Are you visiting here, my friend? No, I'm here for the next two years. Oh, you just moved here? Yeah, yeah, just welcome, moved here. Welcome, welcome, Thank you, thank you. It's a great country. Yeah. Believe me, great country. How long you been here for? Oh, before you born. <laughs> I'm here 24 years now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, love, I love Canada. Yeah. So what made you stay? If you I... was a woman, I said you, <laughs> but unfortunately, you know. <laughs> you know, I, uh, London boys are all right. All right. Hey, all right. Birmingham, oh, black. Yeah, you know what? When you're certain you want to stay here, yeah, anyway, even if you can buy a bachelor. Yes, yes. Buy, so get, get yourself to the market. You know, late, later on, you said that fucking Uber driver was right. <laughs> Thanks God, I buy right. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. More. See, I'm staying in Planet Traveller Hostel. First night in Toronto. Um, we're in this hostel right now, as you can see, it's a five bed. I'm here for a week before I actually go to the Airbnb. I got a block nose, I don't know where this essentially came from, but it's irritated me. So I'm just trying to clear this block nose. As you can see, I saw bad stuffy as well. So I'm just a person of trying to clear this up, but nothing complicated, get a SIM number now. I thought you had to leave the airport to then go to a specific place to get that SIM number. But luckily, as soon as you collect your bags, literally there's a service Canada there and you stand there, present your visa, and you can also get your SIM number there and then. So that saves any hassles. So then the next day or whenever, what time you land, you can just easily open a bank account. And um, it also serves as your second ID because you need it to get a SIM. I'll touch the SIM card in a minute as well. When I come out of the airport anyway, first Uber guy cancelled on me. Like I was standing there. I said to him, I'm in a bright blue jacket, standing there. He kept calling me, calling me. He didn't, even, he didn't even stand out the car and wave to say, I'm here. He just thought I would automatically see him with a bunch of cars. But anyway, we managed to get to the hostel. We're here now. Um, hostel's much better than part of the hostelry where I was staying before, like much better. Like, I can't really complain to be honest. We've also got an ensuite bathroom, We've got the lockers there. Quad suite bathroom. So it's not too bad. It's much better than before. I can stay here for a week. It's doable, but I'm comfortable right now before I actually go to the Airbnb. Ideally, obviously, the long term plan is to be right downtown in the heart of the city and just be there for the foreseeable future, to be honest. And everyone I speak to keeps saying, You're going to be here longer than two years. And I'm just like, what like, i don't know innit? i really generally don't know in terms of the sim card i went to rogers in london i'm getting 100 200 gig for like 18 pound which is equivalent to let's say let's round off to 30 dollars here you're paying 100 dollars for only 40 gig or something like that like it's ridiculous so i gotta find a provider which i'm not gonna do today i'm just gonna chill today uh go back to downtown yeah take it with me and we'll see it from there to be honest but other than that i'm feeling good it's a new experience new everything's new for me right now yeah it just feels good it, it feels like i'm i don't know i don't think it's really kicked in because i still feel like i'm a holiday but it still feels good to be here and yeah we'll see what the next whatever comes to plan to be honest but yeah man let's head out now what's funny i was speaking to this camera yesterday and i didn't even press record so everything i was saying wasn't even being noted or taken down and i didn't get to open the bank account yet because you need your work permit thingy and I'm trying to find, obviously, the bank charges you certain fees when you need to open an account, so I just need to look at them and 
make use of all the benefits essentially <laughs> heading back now apparently it's a weather storm when it says minus four and it said it feels like minus eight it really feels like minus eight but toronto i'm here <laughs>